Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In Monster Strike, let's do a monster review of Watson, uh, one of the uh, new characters, transcendent characters from the latest series, uh, which is related to the world of uh, Sherlock Holmes, uh, one of the more recent uh, limited characters to come out. And then she's probably the most uh, sought after character of the series. Um, I remember the first new series where they had all transcendent monsters. Uh, it was a very strong uh, hatcher, all three of the characters. Um, I was lucky enough to get Lewis Carroll and the uh, Grimm siblings, and they're both uh, very strong. Uh, people were wondering when that first uh, series was announced if this was like they went overboard with the power levels of these characters in order to get people interested in that first, you know, all transcendent form series. Um, or if this would be like the new normal. Uh, looking at Watson and like some of the other recent characters, this does kind of seem like the new normal. These are very powerful characters. And I think Watson is among the top. I know I said just a couple weeks ago that Nonno Alpha is the best character released this year, uh, but I'm already kind of waffling now looking at Watson. <laughs> um, a lot of the uh, the new series characters that are released, you know, they're good for like specific situations, like certain floors of the, uh, the kinky or whatever. Uh, but this Watson, who is good for a floor of the kinky, is also great for just everyday use, like tons of situations. Uh, which is part of the reason why I think she's one of the best characters released this year. Um, a lot of people compare Watson to Setsuna, and I think there's a lot of reasons to think so. And I think they compare pretty favorably to each other. Uh, one thing that bothers me though is that on the Game With site, uh, Setsuna is ranked a 10 out of 10, perfect 10 out of 10. Uh, but Watson is 8.5. That makes zero sense to me. I think she should be a 9.5, uh, because she's really, really good, really versatile. Uh, Setsuna is the better character at the end of the day, uh, but Watson is close. So let's look at Watson and then uh, we'll kind of, you know, weave in comparisons to Setsuna as we go. Uh, but she's a light pierce with Minesweeper L and Null Damage Wall. Uh, that's the same as Setsuna, except for the, uh, the Mine uh, Sweeper part. Uh, Setsuna's M, maybe? Um, stats are good, HP is uh, tank level. Attack is really good considering that she has the Minesweeper, and then speed is uh, respectable for a Pierce character. Uh, but the uh, the way that you can play with Setsuna, it's going to be the same you can play with Watson. You can kind of force them into quests, uh, even with Gravity Bearers or Warps, um, just because their bump combos are so good. Uh, Setsuna has the Holden, which is still a top class bump combo. Um, if they'd waited until now to release Setsuna, people would still be, you know, floored by how strong the Holden is. Uh, Watson does not have the Holden, so, you know, that's kind of a ding against her. Uh, she has the Chain Lightning, which kind of functions similarly, uh, but doesn't have as good range or damage. Uh, but still, pretty good bump combo. Uh, one advantage that Watson has over Setsuna is that Watson has the Null Damage Wall uh, passive in her. Um, a lot of people uh, realize this in level 25 of the Kinky, uh, but you can miss the gauge with Setsuna and then die from the damage wall, so that's one advantage there. Uh, another advantage that Watson has is uh, double Slayers, Mancer Slayer and then I think it's Vivoli Slayer M. Those are not the most common, you know, enemy types, but any Slayer is nice, especially with that very high attack that she has. And then those two Slayers, they're, you know, custom for level 25 of the Kinky. And then a one last advantage that Watson has over Setsuna is her being a transcendent form. So in total, she can get up to three Able Berries, uh, while Setsuna can only get one. Uh, the Strike Shot, uh, Watson has a speed and power up and then, uh, you know, creates that uh, HP recovery field. That's fine. It's good for high level quests where you do want the HP. Uh, but not as good as uh, Setsuna's like Nostradamus type meteor, which is super duper strong. So at this point, I would say that Watson is an 8.5 character. Uh, she's got a versatile element, sling style, double null, decent strike shot, decent bump combo. Uh, but it's her other bump combo that really makes the character, and that's Copy. Uh, copy is one of the most powerful abilities in the game. And I think this Watson character is broken, and X-Flag made a mistake designing her this way. <laughs> um, it's on very few units. I'll put up a uh, screenshot. Um, but most of these units, they have a single Null ability. 
Um, the only characters with the uh, double null ability and copy is uh, Bon, who's a limited character, no longer available, and then uh, Magmel, who is also a mistake, who they will never make a similar character to that again. Um, but yeah, besides being one of the most versatile characters for all the reasons that I gave before, you put Copy on top of that, and she's maybe the most versatile character in the game now. And then I'm a big fan of uh, Copy, um, and then I have very few of these characters with the Copy Bump combo, and I was going to try to maybe pull for them. Uh, but I think with Watson, and then her being so uh, versatile, I'm not going to even try for those other characters. Uh, but yeah, imagine Watson copying, you know, Setsuna's Holden, they're, you know, they're a great pair. Uh, Lucifer's double energy circle, Mana's influence sphere, Nono Alpha's uh, hit all pierce wave, uh, Nyoi Bull's super wave, which is, you know, has a pretty good reputation out of nowhere, Alice's homing, Arthur's laser. All of those at full power, which the blast bump combo does not do. And then all of those in the light element, or most of them in the light element. Um, that's pretty crazy. Unfortunately, she can't uh, copy sub-bump combos, like um, Adabuda's Chipsaw or Rickle's Super Flare, because those are sub-bump combos. Uh, that's one disadvantage that copy has, so you have to be careful when you're putting teams together. You don't want to be copying, like, you know, a Blast Bump combo or something. <laughs> uh, but basically, the better characters that you pair with Watson, the stronger Watson will be. And then a Watson would be an amazing uh, metal farmer. I already have a ton of metal farmers, but I kind of feel like if I pull a second Watson, or I might even just go for it for this first one, is to make another metal farmer. So like a team there would be like a two-star unit to lower your uh, rarity uh, Watson with a uh, metal farming Ableberry, and then two other characters with strong bump combos that Watson can copy. And then you got your metal farming team. Uh, when you are using copy though, you don't want to bring a uh, blast pump combo on another character with that team uh, because they can kind of interfere with each other. Copy only copies the first character that it hits. Um, so if it's set off by accident by like a uh, blast pump combo, uh, she might copy a bump combo that you weren't intending and then you won't be able to use it for the one that you were intending. Um, as for quests that Watson would be good for, uh, basically anywhere that you could bring Setsuna, uh, which is a ton. <laughs> and then as for Ableberries, um, she's so good on her own that she doesn't really need any. Um, I would say Sidekick is not great for her. It will improve her Chain Lightning, but it won't affect her copy at all. Uh, the copy will just take the value from the character that hits her. Um, so it'll look at that character's Ableberries or Spirit Crests or whatever. Um, Survivor actually might be one of the best ones for her, because you're going to want to use her in a variety of uh, different element quests. And then Kin Strength could be good too, uh, to help her with her Slayers. And then as a Metal Farmer, you know, since you don't need the Sidekick, uh, I think you can get away with not giving her a Hero Scroll. Um, so just give her the Metal and uh, the S-Rank, and then you'd be done. Um, unless you're weird like me, and you put an S-Rank Ableberry on your 2-star monster, and then that frees up a slot for Watson, so you can give her a uh, survivor, I guess. And then uh, finally, uh, let's talk about uh, kind of an interesting question. Looking at Watson and Setsuna, if you had one, would you need the other? Um, so first, if you had Setsuna or a multiple of him, uh, thinking about if you needed Watson, I think if you want to do the Nayuta Marathon on level 25, I think you would want Watson. Uh, because they do work well together. And then, uh, again, Watson doesn't have the gauge, so you can't die in the damage wall from that. Lowering your chances of that is always good. And then there is a uh, like a duplicate fog, uh, which does more damage to you if you have more copies of a character. Um, so to be able to you know increase the number of different characters that you have will be useful on that stage. I think for just day-to-day -day use, um, you can get away with just uh, Setsuna. Uh, but Watson is going to be the better metal farmer by far. So if you need uh, her for that, that would be worth uh, pulling, I would say. Now to flip the question, if you had Watson but you didn't have Setsuna, would you have to go for Setsuna? <laughs> to be able to not have to climb that very, very high peak, um, to not go after Setsuna, 
would be pr a pretty big, uh, you know, time saver and energy saver for people that have pulled Watson. And I would say that maybe you could get away with it. Um, as far as, like, just coverage, since they have the same element, sling style, double null ability, um, I think you have all of your bases covered. And then, um, because Watson is so improved by Setsuna, you can grab a Setsuna from your friend list. And then there's almost always going to be a Setsuna in your friends list, so you can use that. Um, I'm still going to go for Setsuna, though, because I'm in it for the experience, and then I can use them together once I get him, so yeah. Okay, so I think that will do it for talking about Watson. Next, let's bring her to a quest. I almost feel like I don't need to show her off in a quest, because I think we all know how she's going to perform and like how awesome she's going to be. <laughs> But just for fun, let's bring her into Fudomio. And then uh, my other team members, uh, they will have a Minesweeper, at least, um, and then a very strong main bump combo. Uh, first is Mana, she has the Involute Sphere. And then a second is uh, Ramiel, she has the, um, the hit all three shot. Oh, I took everybody down there. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Uh, but the Light Element Involute Sphere from Watson really helped there. And then the fourth character is uh, Corsair, and then she has the uh, the 18 homing shot, I think, so yeah. And then Watson will be able to convert all of those to Light Element, uh, which will help us in this quest. Uh, when it is Watson's turn, however, we're just going to set off other people's bump combos, get through that stage very quickly. Okay, here let's set off the Chain Lightning and then the uh, the new Light Homing 18 shot. It's pretty good. Uh, homing doesn't do too much on this stage because of the Homing Absorbers, but I think we get the idea. And another Light Involute Sphere. Very cool. <laughs> so here let's look at the uh, Hit All 3 shot. That's pretty good. Uh, does not pierce, so I wasn't able to get at that Bull guy there. Oh, and I forgot to mention, but Watson is a robot maid, so therefore she is awesome. <laughs> uh, when I saw the announcement for the character, I immediately knew that I wanted her. Um, but, you know, I had uh, spent most of my orbs pulling just all the recent crazy hatchers that we've had. Um, but by this time, I had just like, you know, 50 orbs saved up. Can't remember why. Uh, maybe going through the kinky or something. Uh, but I just did the 10 shot and out came Watson, so I was very happy about that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all of the uh, little guys, they are just uh, melting away. I mean, I'm sure the other three characters, they could do fine, you know, with their bump combos taking down everybody. Uh, but Watson, with her, you know, changing everything to light element, uh, really adds another uh, element to that. Uh, none of these other characters that I have um, have a sidekick Ableberry. I really should get on that. <laughs> Mana is what, two years old? Over mm, over one year old? Still don't have a uh, sidekick Ableberry on her, so yeah. And then having gone through the, uh, the Kinky once, I'm kind of thinking more seriously about it. Um, I would like to make the max look of, um, what's her face, uh, Naraku. So I'm looking at the characters that I have. Maybe I want to get, like, uh, better Ableberries on uh, Rameru, who I'm using on uh, level 1. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I'm thinking about these days. I'm at uh, 40 clears of uh, level 15 of the Kinky. Uh, still no appearances from Setsuna, but... <laughs> Okay, nice bump combo damage there, too. Alright, excellent bump combo damage there, too. And then, um, I think we're gonna end the video here. Uh, the bump combos, they won't play as much of a part in the last two boss stages. Um, but yeah, I am super hyped about Watson. 
Um, I hope I pull another. And then I think she's pretty underrated, maybe under the radar at this moment. Um, so if you do have her, please try her out. She's super, super, super great. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.